um, this is another episode um, here I'll be talking about uh, interview question that was asked at Wayfair um, the question states something like this that you are given a two cross end board and you have two shapes one is two cross one rectangles and another is L shape now they are asking us to determine how in how many ways we can use these shapes to fill in the board um, let me explain through an example I think that way it will be more clear so let's consider our n as 3 now sorry for the pattern writing now the board is would be something like 2 cross 3 as it's given in the question that it will always be 2 cross th n so the board will look something like this now what does it what does he mean so we have two shapes one is this rectangle shape we can use it either to fit in horizontally or vertically and we have another as L shape so the L shaped also we can reverse it and fit in as we like so let's see how in how many ways like let's say in, in our example we are using n is equal to 3 let's see in how many ways unique ways we can fill in this whole board uh, I'll be using different colors to identify different blocks so let's say I fit in a two cross one rectangle block here then another block here and then another block here so this gives us one configuration cool now let's look at the another configuration um, okay it will be something like say a a a i'm using l shaped here to fill in the blocks so this is one l shape and then this is one l shape now let's look at the other another unique configuration we can create um let me use this e then C. Okay, let's look at another configuration like this. Let me let me put L shape like this, and then another L shape like this, and another configuration would be. see so I inserted like this I inserted like this okay so there might be one configuration something like this C E okay mm. do you think any other I do you think any other configuration is possible um. mm. yeah I think that's it so yeah so for n equal to 3 we can see there are five unique ways to fill in the blocks now how do we proceed in solving this problem uh, for me if you ask uh, when given any problem I try to divide it and then I try to conquer it so let's try to see in small blocks and how when we combine them how we get to our answer step by step uh, hmm, let me create a new page here okay now let me try and use n equal to 3 here okay so let me call this configuration as a3 so for for example purposes i am taking n equal to 3 now how do we reach this state like there are many ways to reach this state like if I am at a stage this I have already achieved this state and I'll be using green color that means new blocks so this black blocks is the existing state 
and then if I add a new 2 cross 1 block to it I'll get a a3 state right this is one way to get here in one step then the other the way would be I have I think I drew it okay. okay I have this as a1 and I just add these to it two blocks to it and then I can reach the state similarly what if I have a state like this get rid of this one this L shape to this state which is let's say I call this state this previous state as as B2 so adding one L to B2 will give me this state similarly I think if I have a state like this Correct, and then if I add, yes. yes. So this, I if I add this L to this state, then it will give me a three as well. Let me call this state as C two. So our equation becomes a three a2 plus a1 plus b2 plus c2 now if you look more uh, precisely so this piece here p2 is actually of the same value as c2 so why not combine this equation and try to get rid of one more variable and make it so I think this is our one equation that we get now obviously a a1 a2 these are interrelated but how do we get the value of p2 can we try to have another equation that will get us b2 let's see as I said We'll try to do divide and conquer on P as well to see if I can get another equation to get the value of P2 or more precisely Bn. So again for example purposes I am taking N as 3. So our P3 would look something like um, let me try this. So this is cool. Yeah, so this is how our B3 will look like. So let's see how we can form B3. We can form B3 if I have A1 here. This is A1 state. And then if I draw one L, add one L piece here. Okay, so I get this state plus just look more clearly. If I have already this L state and I just add two blocks to it so this L state if you remember from the previous diagram looks something like this right this is C2 here in the in the previous diagram this piece was C2 and if we add this two cross one block to C2 we get P3 so I call it C2 so our equation becomes B3 equal to A1 plus C2 now previously we saw that C2 is nothing else than P2 so our P3 becomes A1 plus B2 right so we have two equations here 
and we have two variables let me let's see how we can transform these two equations that we have got here in terms of code um, let me create another file that, so it will be more clear so let me write two equations okay so one was sorry I don't remember. my memory is bad um, a3 equals a2 plus a1 plus okay 2 cross b cross v2 and the another equation is v3 a1 plus v2 cool Oops. so we have two equation in front of us now right Oops, I missed it. okay yeah so we have two equation in front of us now this is nothing else than okay if i write a n i'll try try to write it in a generic format a n is equal to a this is three and this is two that means this is a of n minus one plus this is three and this is one that means this is a of n minus two plus to cross this is b of 2 which is b of n minus 1 and then we have another equation of b of n which is a of n minus 2 plus b of n minus 1 right so so from this equation actually you guys can sense that this is something like a dynamic programming problem because my current value depends on the previously saved values now what if if i take an array dpn which would be my final answer right so if i have to write this in terms of code my code would look something like dp of n is equal to dp of n minus 1 plus dp of n minus 2 plus 2 cross dp of oh sorry yeah so this is another array so I'll take it as dp dp and then I'll take this as a, an another auxiliary array as b so which could be at b so this will be t of b of n minus 1 correct similarly I'll be calculating b of n as well because you can see if I calculate b of n here in the next loop I can use b of n minus 1 to calculate dp of n so this would be again dp of n minus 2 just 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 to be clear again uh, this dp is basically a here i am just considering two arrays as one is dp so i am replacing a with dp here it's just a notation and b i am keeping it as b um, so here it will be b of n minus 1 so let me write a more proper pseudocode so that is understandable so basically i am taking two arrays right one is dp yeah dp this is better dp of n and another n v of n right now I have to consider some initial states so let's say when my n is 0 so there is like when it's 0 obviously you can obviously have a one way to make a square to, to fill it to basic to fill it any way you want because it's just a zero the size is 0 
there's always going to be one because there is always one way to not fill it and then so we so basically we'll default this value as dp of zero as one dp of one p of zero as one now what about when this n size is one so we saw that if n is one the board will look something like this which is two cross one right so there is one way to fill it with a with a two cross one block so there is one way now b if you remember b always take took the state as l shape so if b is one it will look something like this so when n is one sorry so our shape basically board looks something like this but we can't fill it with one l because it if we if we fill if we try to fill it using this l shape it will be basically surpassing the boundary so p of one will be zero right so we have defaulted values for zero and one now so our for loop will start from two it will go on till n uh, I'll be incrementing I so they it's just the equation which we saw in the previous notes okay, so it's db of n db of n minus 1 plus db of minus 2 plus 2 cross b of n minus 1 and then b of n would look something like b of n minus 2 plus b of n minus 1 right and once this for loop is done I'll return dp of n because that will contain our final answer so this is just a pseudo code I'll be posting the article and the code in the description so that you guys can look at it and have a more clear idea how it works in terms of the code i hope you guys enjoyed this video the problem was interesting um, if you guys like this video please uh, like share and subscribe thank you guys